Good morning. It's been too long since I updated. It took about uh, two and a half weeks to get the frame back from Powder Coat. Love those guys. They, uh, they did a great job. But unfortunately, you know, the reality is there's who knows how many guys doing winter projects just like this one. They were all ready for powder coat about the same time, so they're absolutely slammed. And I should have probably taken a video just with the, the frame because it came out beautiful before I started, you know, putting everything back together. But, hey, this is a... Uh, this isn't a documentary. This is I'm trying to I'm trying to get a bike finished here. But anyway, you get a good look at the at the frame. Came out gorgeous. That's the uh, the top motor mount. Came in beautiful. If you remember, way back we had these spacers those came out looking beautiful so anyway as you can tell we've begun the process of putting this thing back together mostly everything you see here is is finished I've been you know torquing everything down and lock tightening it up as as I go Front end is, you know, except for, you know, the wiring and the speedometer and the headlight, the front end, front end is done. See how the, the brake cables came out. This one here probably could stand to be an inch longer. It's not tight, but it's, it looked a little better if it was flopping a little freer, but I'm going to, I'll leave that for now. See down underneath here, that's the setup. So what, what all that accomplishes is two things. One is it, you know, it, it anchors the, the brake line so that it's not all flopping around. And then that's the pressure switch. It'll be for the rear brake light. Pretty cool deal. I got this. I looked around and... I don't want to say that was hard to find, but it was it was hard to find the right one. I actually ended up out at Dillon Brothers Harley Davidson, and that's a genuine Harley Davidson pressure switch right there. But anyway, what was cool about it was so I go out there and first guy I'm talking to at the parts counter, young guy, he's he's a little baffled. He doesn't even know what I'm talking about. So then the second guy older guy comes over and off the top of his head tells the first guy here's the part number so kind of gotta like the old school guys bars are on obviously the wheel spacers all that worked out this was the one i hadn't uh I actually hadn't assembled it yet with this spacer. I just used the, the PVC mock-up spacer and I was pleased to see that work out. But the, the way the axle on the front's all torqued down, ready to go. So anyway, ev everything from the steering head forward is torqued down and all finished. Engine mounts, that's all torqued down, ready to go. I went ahead and put the, the shift control on really just cause. Got a problem here though. I'm not sure how I managed to do this, but I really screwed up. You can see it here. Clutch cable is way short. I mean, it's, it's not even close. So either I mismeasured that or I miscommunicated my measurement to Barnett or whatever, but uh, I'm going to have to get that replaced, which kind of sucks. I don't know if they're going to allow me to return that one or at least get some kind of credit for it. 
whatever. It is what it is. The uh, rear fender mounting came out beautiful. Actually, I think the I'm really liking the decision to go with the green paint. It probably looks pretty good from here in the video. If you, if you saw this in person and really looked at it, it's not a good paint job, but it's it's close to a good paint job. It's a it's definitely a ten foot paint job. Looks nice though. I'm happy. Uh, figured out I got one thing. I still got to make. Forgot about this thing, and this will be the something I'm working on. So remember we've talked before. We got this uh, rear brake bracket. By the way, that came back from powder coat. Looks amazing. And this, this bracket needs to get anchored in some manner so it doesn't want to spin. And the solution is Palco is, I mean, you can see it here, Palco is nice enough to give us this tab, which has a ridiculously big hole in it, but oh well. So anyway, what I'm going to do, I ordered a couple of uh, Heim joints or, uh, you know, see that thing there? That's a Heim joint. So I ordered a couple of those. And before I put this bracket on, I drilled and tapped that uh, that hole. Can we actually see it? See the threads in there? I don't know if the camera will pick that up or not. But anyway, so what I'm going to do is Heim joint on either end, and then we're going to make a little rod that connects them together. That'll be a little bit of a machining operation because we'll have to machine down the ends and then thread the ends of the rod. And then the whole thing actually has to get a little bend put in it because the what you don't want to have happen is you can't put any sort of side-to-side -side pressure on this bracket. It's got to be able to just sort of go where it wants to be. So I don't want to I don't want to put any force on it. So that is, we'll come straight off this Heim joint, bend back, and then go straight into that one. There's probably about an inch of difference between those. Uh, what else? Oh, hey, here's something. I'm going to get down here and show it. Are we going to be able to see this? There it is. Okay. Voltage regulator. That system of putting the plate on the front, coming up underneath it with the voltage regulator. That worked out beautifully. That's pretty cool. So I'm happy to see that uh, that worked out. Still not sure. Well, I mean, I guess there's still an open question whether or not all this is actually going to work, but uh, for now, I think we're we're in business. Here's my rear axle adjuster. Can't think of anything else. That's pretty much a a good once over on the bike as it stands right now. It's a uh, Pretty, pretty happy overall. Next big, uh, it's Friday right now, Friday morning, and uh, next big thing I'm going to do is get all the wiring done. That shouldn't be, shouldn't be a whole lot to that. I mean, there's just not that much wiring on the bike, so we'll get that put together and see what's what. Anyway, I'm not sure I'm even going to do another update until it's done, but uh, that's where it stands. Update whenever.